Intention of this video is that how you know that where actually SSB is located on carrier bandwidth 51 RB and what is the position from absolute frequency point A. मतलब ये है कि कैसे UE को पता चलेगा आखिर SSB carrier bandwidth 51 RB जो है इस 51 RB के किस position पर located है और absolute frequency point A है इस point A से SSB का location यह UE को कैसे पता करता है so today in this video I'll explain about SSB in non-stand alone mode and we try to decode SSB so let's start hello friends I'm Anand from Anand Techno Solution today I'm going to discuss about the SSB in 5G NR stand alone mode in 5G NR sequential signal block that is SSB uh, include PSS, SSS and PBCH and its location com uh, compared to LT is completely different in LT sequential signal position is a state forward and it is located around DC subcarrier where is the DC subcarrier it is a center a 6 PRV that is 72 subcarriers allocated for a sequential signal in LT but in 5G NR sequential signals are positioned on a bandwidth part and it is not fixed and uh, can locate anywhere across the carrier bandwidth LT may sequential signal ka location fix hai. it is around the central frequency 72 subcarriers located uh, that is 6 PRB but in 5G a location is not fixed anywhere can be in the bandwidth here we can take an example of 5G in a band N78 with FR1 and try to put together how the time domain and frequency uh, domain resources are allocated for SSB and how positioning of SSB on carrier bandwidth is determined. SSB time domain resources uh, uh, SSB block consists of four conjugative of the symbol, right? So first symbol position is determined by combination of carrier bandwidth plus subcarrier spacing. So as per 3 GPP table from this uh, uh, table we can Calculating the starting wave DN symbol of SSB for subcarrier 15 kHz, 30 kHz, 120 kHz, and 240 kHz. So, in case a scenario, you can see that it is uh, for a subcarrier spacing is 15 kHz, uh, and formula is uh, to calculate the starting uh, wave DN symbol uh, of SSB is 28 plus 14 N, right? So that uh, if uh, a frequency is less than uh, equal to 3 gigahertz, then n value is 0 and 1. And SSB, so what will be the SSB starting position? SSB starting position will be, you can just put 0 and 1, uh, then 2, 8, 16 and 22. So total number of beam will create uh, for this uh, uh, frequency is 4 SSB beam will form right for the if frequency is less than equal to 3 gigahertz right next uh, is if frequency is uh, greater than 3 gigahertz and less than 6 gigahertz for subcarrier spacing 15 kilohertz then what value will be then in value is 0 1 2 3 here you can see that 0 1 2 3 ssb a starting position will be a starting position will be here you just put in the formula um, uh, 0 1 2 3 and you can see here 2 8 16 22 30 36 44 50 that means total 8 SSB beam form for the this frequency if greater than 3 and less than 6 gigahertz and sub carrier spacing is 15 kilohertz so, total number of SSB form is 8 so what, I'm telling that a starting position is 2, 8, 16, 22, 30, 36, 44, 50. That is for the 15 kHz and uh, uh, frequency is greater than 3 and less than 6 GHz. Right. So 2 means uh, at starting position of OFD symbol. That means 4 conjugative OFD symbol every SSB will take 
कंजुगेटिव फोर एविडेंस है हमारा राइट तो टू थ्री फोर फाइव टू थ्री फोर फाइव सो फोर एविडेंस है हमारा फाइव आफ्टर दैट अगेन इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एस एस बी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एट राइट सो एट नाइन टेन इलेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन कंटिन्यूस फोर एविडेंस सिंबल राइट सो दिस इज सेकेंड एस एस बी थर्ड एस एस बी वेयर इट विल स्टार्ट इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी सेवनटीन एटीन नाइनटीन दिस इज थर्ड एस एस बी फोर्थ एस एस बी वेयर विल स्टार्ट इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी टू राइट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके सो नेक्स्ट एस एस बी अगेन वेयर फॉर्म स्टार्ट इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम थर्टी थर्टी नेक्स्ट विल स्टार्ट अगेन फ्रॉम थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सेवन थर्टी एट थर्टी नाइन लाइक दैट एस एस बी फॉर्म सो टोटल हाउ मेनी एस एस बी विल क्रिएट फॉर दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी ग्रेटर देन थ्री लेस देन सिक्स टोटल एट एट एस एस बी विल फॉर्म राइट नेक्स्ट इज एस एस बी फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन रिसोर्सेस एस एस बी इन फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू फोर्टी कंजुगेटिव सब कैरियर नंबर इन इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू थर्टी नाइन इट्स इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी पी आर बी राइट ट्वेंटी पी आर बी मीन्स ट्वेंटी इंटू ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टी सेव करियर दैट मीन्स इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू थर्टी नाइन सो इफ एस एस बी सेव करियर ऑफसेट इज नॉट ए प्रोवाइडेड सो एस एस बी इज डिवाइडेड फ्रॉम द फ्रिक्वेंसी डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एस एस पी बी सी एस ब्लॉक एंड पॉइंट एस एस बी ब्लॉक एंड पॉइंट एस एस बी सब कैरी ऑफसेट इज नॉट प्रोवाइडेड सो एस एस बी इज ड्राइव फ्रॉम द फ्रिक्वेंसी डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एस एस बी ब्लॉक एंड पॉइंट ए विल अंडरस्टैंड वेर इज द पॉइंट ए वेर इज द एस एस बी ब्लॉक इन द फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड टाइम डोमेन एंड डोमेन लोकेशन सो इन एन एस ए मोड दैट मीन नॉट स्टैंड एलोन मोड ऑपरेशन द लोकेशन ऑफ द एस एस बी इज डिटरमाइंड बाई द इन्फॉर्मेशन प्रोवाइडेड बाई द हाई लेयर इन आर आर सी कन्फिग्रेशन मैसेज वॉट आर द इन सपोज दैट इन दिस लॉक्स यू कैन सी दैट Uh, here you can see that absolute uh, frequency ssb absolute frequency ssb is 634008 right and frequency band list is 78 n78 and absolute frequency point a is 642722 this is absolute frequency point a offset to trigger equal to 0 sub carrier spacing is 30 kilohertz and carrier bandwidth is 51 rb is located right so in initial downlink bwp so location and bandwidth is 3750 and sub carrier spacing is 30 kilohertz so this following information uh, can be extracted from the above rrc message rrc reconfiguration message so band n70 is a tdd band right so none as a tdd uh, 3500 if frequency range is uh, 3300 uh, 3, to 3800 megahertz right for n78 3300 to 3800 and it's belong to fr1 so and sub carrier spacing 30 kilohertz with carrier bandwidth 51 rb which is 20 megahertz with reference to the uh, here in this table you can see that <coughs> sub carrier spacing 30 uh, for the 20 megahertz bandwidth a uh, number of rb is 51 rb right 51 rb and uh, for 40 megahertz it is 106 and for 100 megahertz bandwidth total number of prb is 273 so total prb is allocated for sub carrier spacing 30 is total is 273 prb uh, will allocate if we use the higher bandwidth 100 megahertz right and here you can see the frequency range 0 to 3000 uh, uh, 3000 to 24250 and 24250 to 1 gigahertz so and uh, del f is the frequency raster right F for uh, 0 to 3000 rest is 5 kilohertz and for uh, second uh, 3000 to 24250 15 uh, kilohertz and uh, below one is the 16 kilohertz so this is the frequency rest other uh, is reference frequency is uh, for the 0 to 3000 frequency if rf is 0 for 3000 to 24250 uh, 3000 is reference points if rf like that in rf offset value is uh 
uh, 5.02016006 so this is the range of nref now we will calculate absolute frequency of uh, point a because absolute frequency point a which i have the af seen right so we need to cal we need to convert in megahertz so absolute frequency a what c what is the means of absolute frequency point a so it represent the common reference point a right it is it represent the common reference point a the reference point is the 0th rb 0 rb of 20 273 rb 273 in this table i have shown for 30 megahertz total number of maximum total number rb is 273 rb and 0 rb of 273 so, so, uh, 0 rb of 273 rb so 0 rb that means first rb it is it it is just below point right so that represent the point of the 0th rb of 273 rb 273 rb jo hai uska jo jahan se 0 se start ho raha to 0 jo hai ek reference point hai right so which is the center point of rb 0 right so absolute frequency point a that is 642722 that is arfcn now we'll uh, convert in megahertz so in megahertz this is the formula if ref offset plus del f global right this is frequency rest type del f global into n ref minus n ref offset what is n ref value is 642722 minus n ref offset that is a reference point so what is the reference point for the this uh, 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 this table this uh, spacing that is this value 600000 so while you will put this value and you will try to find out that this is the megahertz 3640.83 megahertz bandwidth that is the absolute frequency point a now absolute frequency point ssb right absolute uh, absolute frequency ssb it represent the center frequency of ssb block ssb block ka jo center frequency hai, that is the absolute frequency ssb so ssb block is 20 rb as a result right 20 rb is a located ssb so 20 into 12 that means 40 to 47 carrier will utilize so from the log absolute frequency ssb uh, afcn is 643008 right nrf so we will convert in megahertz so here you can see that absolute frequency ssb 3000 plus 50 into 643008 minus 6 uh, 00000 so when you will calculate it it will come 364.3645.12 megahertz right so carrier center frequency equal to total number of rbs what is the total number of rbs 51 right uh, from the RS reconfiguration message, uh, message so resource block respond to center frequency 51 by what will the center point of 51 RB so 51 by 2 that means 26 it is not exact uh, uh, exact center point but uh, it will be around 51 by 2 that means it will be, uh, we, we will see in integer format so 26 so center frequency equal to absolute frequency point A absolute frequency point a plus 26 rb into 12 sub carrier right absolute frequency point a is 0th rb of 273 right 273 rb so absolute frequency point a plus 26 rb into 12 sub carrier so center frequency equal to 3640.83 right plus 26 into 12 into 30 kilohertz right so when you will calculate it it will come around 3650.19 megahertz this is the center frequency now position of ssv from point a position of ssv from point a so offset to point is come it it will come in the sieve message so if what uh, how we can define the offset to point a it define the frequency offset between point a and lowest sub carrier of rv overlapping with ssb it defines the frequency offset between the point a and the lowest sub carrier of the rv overlapping with ssb 
so unit of rb is expressed as a 15 kilohertz for fr1 and 16 kilohertz for fr2 so next one is kssp it defines the frequency of rv0 of ssb and unit of rv is expressed as the 15 kilohertz for the fr1 and 60 kilohertz for fr2 so frequency offset to ssb uh, from point a equal to offset to point a plus kssb so now we will try to calculate the kssb so difference between the ssb center frequency that is absolute frequency ssb and point a so point a what is absolute frequency point a so here we will calculate between difference between ssb center frequency and point a that is 36 36 415 0.12 minus 36 40.83 that means 4290 kilohertz right so difference between the point a difference between the point a and zero subcarrier rv0 of ssb right point a is the starting point right here so a difference between point a and zero subcarrier rv0 of ssb right so 4290 4290 minus 10 uh, 10 rb that is the bottom of uh, uh, 10 rb of ssb is 20 rb right so minus 10 rb into 10 into 12 into 30 kilohertz so uh, when we will calculate it will come around 690 so we are calculating number of rb we will convert in rb 690 by 180 kilohertz that means it will come around 3.8 offset to point a value is 3 right from the same message so k s s b equal to 690 690 minus 3 offset to point a is 3 3 into 12 into 50 by 15 kilohertz right so it will come around how much it will come it will come around 10 subcarrier right it will come around 10 subcarrier so offset to ssb from point a what will value offset to ssb from point a point a say ssb jump start or i what the values so, offset to point a plus k ssb so 3 rb plus 10 subcarrier so this is the uh, where uh, ssb will start ssb zero sub carrier will be a start from the absolute to frequency point a from point a say zero subcarrier so this is the high okay so thank you for watching this video bye take care